Well, welcome back. <clears throat> it's Sammy again. I walk in front of the camera. Anyway, here's my barbecue pit. Uh, I'm going to put my charcoal in there to get a fire going. Let me show you. Now, this is how I do it. Everybody has their ideas. So, I take this right here. And I put this whole bag in here. So I put the whole bag in here like that. And then I put uh, put bare foot all over it. Yeah, I put a little extra. Let it sit for a few minutes. For y'all, those of you who heard this wondering, this is the first time I put a, made a brisket on this barbecue pit. Now I've cooked countless, countless briskets before, but not on this barbecue pit I have here. I mean, it's, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I have, I just got it not long ago. But I think it'll do good. I mean, it's not very big, but it's big enough for me in my life. So, I uh, apologize if I'm standing in front of the camera, but really not good light out here because it's so bright already. So, I do. I put, just put a lot of W. A lot of, a lot of w, not W. You put a lot of flower fluid on there. Then I come over here and get my lighter. But before I do that, come over to my grill. Now, this is how I do it, so I have your ideas. It wasn't good, but see this here slides out. But anyway, so I take my lighter and I light it. My rooster's throwing in the background, so so let that burn for a little while until it gets really good and hot. Where the back should burn, the back burns, and then that should might last, last minute match light charcoal. So, yeah, I'm gonna cook brisket today. We'll see how it goes. I've never, never done one on this one, but like I say, I've cooked many, many of them before, but not on a specific pit. So, anyway. I'll be right back. back y'all. So we got some wood. Well, it's not exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to fall out the front. So 
door. Let it burn down. People say, why do you do that for? Well, that match light or any kind of charcoal will get a good fire going. Now, some people use a torch. I just don't have a torch, to be honest with you. I use charcoal and lighter, and it does good for me. So, once again, everybody has their way of doing things. I just do it differently. I'm trying to walk in front of the camera, so I walk way over here. Because I want everybody to experience firsthand know what's going on. I ain't gonna do this no more. Well, I'm gonna let it, let it burn down a little bit so. First thing it takes about 20 30 minutes, so well, I guess it'll be all right. Let it burn. Let me come down with just a tad. There we go. Now you're talking about hot, I'm already sweating. As you can see, my shirt, it's I'm already sweating. I should have started this earlier, but my wife wanted me to go with her to get her award changed, so went down that, went to McCoy's, and got some ant killer because the dang ants are coming to my house and they're eating getting my my dog food bowl that's aggravating to me so anyway so get a little late start but it'll be fine hope everybody doing well this morning now i hope i pray everybody's doing well this morning this is probably gonna take i don't know how long it's gonna take but the cool brisket. We'll see how it turns out. I'm sorry I never cooked one on this one yet. I cooked a, a roast last week. And some sausage and then some armadillo eggs. Actually it was armadillo eggs was actually what it was. It was jalapeno with uh, cream cheese wrapped in bacon. They were actually really good. The jalapeno is a little too crunchy for what I want. But it's so good, but that roast is just too dry because the roast is so lean. And actually, I put it inside a foil, and it's still lean, still lean. But it had a good smoke flavor. So. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all watch this. Why am I going to the house for a minute? Be right back.
Well, welcome back. I'm back now. Looking good. She still ain't where I want it yet. Put a couple pieces of wood on her. Burning, but I do it now that way it'll get going. A good fire will get going with that wood. There's the paper on the bottom. I don't want to, you still smell that charcoal. I know. I might just start blazing here in a little minutes, but I don't want to put anything in when you smell that charcoal. It's still got paper down there and it's burning. So get that going, which should be as a blazing as you see. Then in a little, uh, I guess 20, 30 minutes when it gets good blazing, that charcoal will burn off, then you won't smell it no more. Then I'll put the brisket on there. But one thing about a brisket, you don't want to be in a hurry. Because it's a good meat to eat, but you don't want to be in a hurry. Get in a hurry, then, then it don't get done right. So. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I've had this thing, well, I don't know how long I've had it, but this is the third time I've cooked stuff out of it, so first time with a brisket, but looks good to me. For those of you who are just come in, I put a match like a uh, whole thing of charcoal, uh, just a bag and all, so I can still smell the charcoal and until it burns totally up, I'm not gonna put any wood, make meat, excuse me. I'm not gonna put the brisket on it yet. So. Yep, sir. Let me close this thing so it'll get good hot in there. So. I run around, it's right here is 100 degrees, but I try to keep it around 250, 300 tops, no more than 300. But we'll see how it goes. I, I, I never took a brisket before, so not on this one. And we'll see. So. I trimmed up that brisket that I bought from Walmart last night. Actually, it was the last one they had. It was $59 and something cents for that cotton picking brisket. It was the last one, and I wanted to cook the brisket, so I bought it. Anyway, I trimmed it up this morning, and I put it in the icebox around 7 o'clock, and I, I hit it pretty hard with, I mean, I seasoned it pretty, pretty heavy with uh, black pepper and Zachary, Zachary, or whatever, season. So it's been there for, it's almost three hours, but in the very, so what I've done by that is the longer you leave it in there, the more the season will get into the meat. So, that's my tail, I'm sticking to it. I really tell the truth. Don't want to get in a hurry, that's for sure. I don't like tough meat. I do not like tough meat. For those of you who went with this, that over there, that's actually my smokehouse. Yep, see right there. See you right there. See it right there? That's actually my smokehouse right there. I cook, well, I make brisket. Well, I'm excuse me. I don't make brisket, I make sausage and booty. All homemade, and I put it in there and smoke it. So, speaking of that, I need to make some more sauces and put it in because I hadn't made them in a while. So, yeah. I 
like he might want to sprinkle a little bit. I ain't mad at it. I could probably put three brisket on there if I wanted to, but I'm not cooking that many. Well, when I put it in there, I'll put the brisket part right here, away from the flame. That way it'll smoke. So when I want to cook it, I put it down there closer to the flame, and it'll cook it quicker. So, and for those of you who don't, don't understand hillbilly, that's what I am. I'm not really hillbilly, I just talk fast. I need to slow down so people can understand what I'm saying. But it's a labor of love. When you love something, it's like, I know what I'm saying, but it don't come out right. My wife tell me all the time, what did you say? I said, you understand me after 29 years? She says, no. So I have to repeat what I say to her again. Then I slow way down. Then she understands. But 29 years later, and she still don't understand what I'm saying. But, oh well. And I got married in 1994. 20, I was 23 years old. I'm 53 now. did that for is the inside of my cooking area will get pretty hot now pretty it will get really hot actually it's probably up to 400 450 because it's the flame has nowhere to go except to the left and that's where I want it to go you know, so you can see the smoke come out of smokestack now Let me get my big belly out of the way see the smokestack the smoke stack the smoke coming out now. So we're sitting at about 350 and it's steady climbing. Why did I do that for? Well, so I get the inside of the hot the inside the barbecue pit get hot. And I'm talking hot. I want it hot. So if anything in there that got over there that I don't want on there, it'll burn it off. My other barbecue pit I had, I've had it so hot it caught a fire inside there. Not on this one, but the other barbecue pit I had. The other one I had was like 11, 12 foot long. I had, we had made it out of work, out of a propane tank. And it was big, big, big. So, too big to cook anything for me and my wife, so that's why I'm wondering why I got rid of it. This is ideal, I and mean, this is perfect. And I wish I had a little more this firebox was a little more sturdier. And what I mean by that is, I don't know how much how much I'm going to get out of it, use out of it because it's so thin, metal-wise. I wish I had about three quarter to half inch thick metal, but oh well. It might it hopefully it'll last a year or so. But if it doesn't, then I have to buy another one. I don't want to smoke it. I go over here and close it, but I don't want to touch that because it burn the fire on my finger. I don't want to smoke it. You smell that flame that's a bit like that. You know, it'll start smoking, watch. It'll start smoking. I 
I mean, it'll start smoldering. Excuse me, it'll start smoldering, not smoking. Smoldering. Well, I said it wasn't going to, but it ain't started yet. Well, one reason why it started smoldering because it's so hot. It smoked so hot. Um, open it up. I can still smell that. Let me open it back up because I can still smell that. Charcoal in there. Well, there it goes. It's starting to smolder now. You still smell that charcoal in there. Yeah, you can still smell that charcoal, which I don't want in there. Go out. Which I don't want. Uh, because I'm in a hurry. Mm. That little wood get going in get fire. Go hot, hot. It'll get hot here in a minute. these because that metal is hot. This right here, I have it over there, it gets really hot. So, yep. Get going now, finally. I apologize for sweating. Alright y'all, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta run to the restroom. We'll talk to you in a few minutes.
come back again. You might let that one run for a while because I, I shouldn't have to put that bag. I should take the bag out of there, but oh well, it's too late now. Ain't nothing I do about it now. back out. The more paper you gotta burn down to, to uh, I'll put the brick on there. But yeah, I have to find me a piece of metal or something to stoke that fire because that way I can get that paper burning. I can still smell that Trying to burn that paper out, so I'm gonna put this on there.
take me a piece of steel to start my fire. Man's all rusty now. All right, y'all. I'm gonna let it, get, let it bit go burn for a while because all that stuff in there. So we'll talk to you soon. Be blessed. Thanks, bye. Yeah, welcome back. It's Sammy again. Oh, that smoking stick is thick, fierce. Anyway, there's my brisket. I gotta put it on there. Now this is the lean side, and the other side is the meat side. So I put it down like this first. And so I let it cook for a couple hours. Hang on. Let me get you off. Get you a slow picture. Hang on. Let me turn you around. So there she is right there. So I turned my little fat, that's the fat side. And if you poke her right here, that's the lean side. So, and then so I put the, really don't matter if you put the fat side toward the heat or not, but I put it toward the end of the fire because the fire is right there. And it's hot, my God, it's hot and smoky. So I let it cook for a couple hours. It's almost, my God, I hit smoke is fierce. Anyway, so I let it smoke for a couple hours, two and a half, three hours, just like that. Try to keep it under under 300 if I can. But if I can, I'll just close this and close the other end, the damper on the other end. So you got a damper right here. A damper closed it off. I, I had it down, down to, I had it. Uh, smoking pretty good while ago, so there she sits in her all of her glory. But uh, anyway, I I use uh, oak wood uh, for smoking red oak, pin oak, not pin oak, red oak, or or, or just regular oak. But I really love red oak. To me, it tastes better. So anyway, I'm gonna close her up and then. Uh, we'll check on her in a couple hours. All right, y'all be blessed. Thanks. Well, it's me again, Sammy, smoking the brisket. Look how it looks. About, it's almost, an, well, it's about an hour in. Look at it looks. It looks mighty tasty already, but it ain't nowhere done. N nowhere done. But, got to give it about one o'clock, then I'm going to wrap her up and then give her some more but she looks mighty tasty already all right y'all be blessed